In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to export a model uh, for a game engine. So in this case, I'm going to be exporting for Unreal Engine. So this is a model that I've modelled and then UV'd. So the UVs are all done here. So I'm ready to export this now. So what we need to do, select everything that you have, but it might be that you want to combine this mesh together. So you can press combine here. This will make it the easiest, but I'm going to keep it separate just to show you some issues that you might come across in Unreal. So I'm going to keep them separate, but it might be that you want to combine them. That would be the end goal. The best option would be to combine all these together. So then it is just one mesh that's all together. But I'm going to keep them separate because that is an option. And there's just a few check boxes that you need to do when you put it into Unreal. So make sure you have, you have everything that you want selected to be exported. So in some cases you might have um, in your Maya or whatever 3D modeling software you have, you have multiple models, but I don't want this one to be exported with this crate. So I'm going to select the ones that I want, because I'm going to leave that there, but it's not selected. Go to File, Export Selection. And then once it shows up, uh, we want to put this somewhere. So I'm going to just put it into uh, desktop for now. And I'm going to call this SM underscore crate. So SM for static mesh underscore crate. So what it is, you might want to call it wooden crate or something like that. But it's just something so you're easily able to identify it. What we also need to do, change the file type from Maya binary. So that'll just be a normal Maya file, which we don't want. We want to change this to FBX. So where's FBX? There we are. So Unreal Engine likes FBX the most. Something like Unity would probably want OBJ instead, but FBX is something for Unreal. So there's a few checkboxes, but we probably don't need to worry about that. So we're just going to do export selection. So once we, that's exported, load up a project. So I've already got one done. So if I go to import, so I'm just going to put it in the content folder. I'm going to import sm underscore create. So there's all these checkboxes. Most of this you probably don't need to worry about. So there's stuff like generate missing collision. So you can create your own collision, but uh, I'm just going to let it create its uh, own. Because it is a box, it should be a fairly simple collision that it generates. Um, but you can create your own collision. So you might want to untick that, but just leave it for now uh, if you don't know how to make your own collision. The main thing we want to do is because we exported it all separate like this, we want to go to Unreal and then go into the mesh drop down advanced and then tick combine meshes if we don't do that so i'll leave it unticked to show you what it does so i'm going to leave all these settings uh, how it is by default and import it and show you the issues so if i import this now we don't need to worry about this so much but we can see that all of the different parts of the model are separate and it's also imported a blank material that i don't really want so i'm going to delete those because that's what it is by default so if I go to import this again, so I'm going to tick the combine meshes. So that's going to combine it all into one so I don't have all those separate things. Another thing, I don't want that material. So it might be that you want that material. But if you've done something special in Maya or Blender or any other modeling software. But I don't want that. I want to be able to put my own material onto it. So if I do do not create material and import that, close off that, we've got this now. So it's... A crate that's all together so it's not separated into different stuff and it's just got one material that currently hasn't been set so I can drag this in and I can start to put that around my level so what we can do if you've just got a texture that you want to put on by default on all of the crates open this up and we can set the default material so if I do this and then do wood I'm going to put one that I made earlier, so M underscore wood, I'm going to put that on. So it doesn't look great for a wooden crate, but it shows the effect that the UVs are working fine and the material's being put on. But if you're wanting something different, you can put uh, another one on. This might, might look better for you. So just get a material and put it on to test if it's working fine. And then if we start to put this around the level, it has that material on. You can also change, so if you select 
this you can start to change it in here so you can have special textures for different things uh, but that's a way to do it by default so this is how you import into uh, Unreal make sure you do save all once you've done everything to make sure it's saved once you've exp imported it